In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a modern trifold business brochure design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added three images here. And here you can add the cover headline along with the company logo. And at the bottom, you can add more detailed text. And in the center page, I have added some sub headline here. You can add more details and some company quote or the tagline can be added here. And on the left side, you can add the main title, some detailed description here. And at the bottom, you can add your social media account or some contact details. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Open a new blank presentation, then go to design. I'm going to change the slide size to A4 size. For that, go to slide size, click on custom slide size. And from the drop down list, select A4 and let it be landscape click ok it asks you two options maximize or ensure fit you can select any of these so let me just select maximize and you can see here a uh, slide size of a4 has been added now i'm going to add the margins for that go to view and click on the slide master and before that open the guides you can see here then go to slide master for this particular slide, I'm just going to add the margins for that right mouse click. You can see here grid and guidelines. When you click here, it asks me add vertical guideline and add horizontal. So let me just add the vertical. So you can see here the vertical line has been added. I'm just going to move to the left side and right mouse click add vertical again. And I'm going to bring it here to the right side. You can see here right mouse click i'll just say add horizontal and just bring this up and again right mouse click add one more horizontal and bring this down you can see here i've added the margins and close the master view so you can see the margins are visible here this is a trifold brochure design for that i'm going to add three rectangles go to insert shapes and select the rectangle draw the rectangle from the corner and shape outline make it no outline you can give any color light color later on you can go and change the color and then this one i'm going to make the width as 3.62 press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to change the color and just place next to the first one again press ctrl d and change this color to some other color so you can see here i've added three rectangles now i'm going to add the design here for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle again and in the center box i'm just going to add this much size rectangle shape outline you can make it no outline and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select this right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here again shape outline no outline and i'm going to give some different color and rotate this one i will flip horizontal and make sure that this is properly aligned you need to align with this blue rectangle you can see here and if you want you can make it more bigger also and press ctrl d to duplicate this one bring it down and then rotate this again i will say flip horizontal and then i'm going to say flip vertical bring this down and again make sure that this is properly aligned now once i do this one i can just simply select these three by holding the shift key this one and this one and then you can go to format merge shape and just say union and this particular feature are available available only from 2010 onwards even in 2010 you need to enable this one so whoever having the older version of powerpoint like 2007 or 2003 they cannot do this particular slide design so just click the union here now I'm going to add two triangles, one on the left and one on the right side. For that, go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the triangle, draw a triangle, shape outline, make it no outline and any color you can choose. And then I'm just going to rotate it left 90 degrees and just make sure that 
you have to align to this particular shape. Let me just zoom in a little bit and you can just reduce the size or you can hold the alt key also so that you can get the perfect size and then increase the till this one here you can see here or let me just increase the size further because there's a gap you can see here the gap let me just increase the size again holding the alt key and the top also looks perfect no problem and then I'm going to select this press ctrl D and this rotate it go to format rotate I'm going to rotate flip horizontal and then just add it here and you have to make sure that this is properly aligned so you can see here our three designs are ready and then here you can add your own images to add the images select this one right mouse click go to format shape fill select picture or texture fill and by default this is the image i have used last time so it is coming or you can just go to insert from file and select the image what you have in your pc or you can download any images good images from the internet also so let me just add the images in these three boxes as you can see here, I've added the three images onto these boxes. And then if you see here, this building is not in the right direction. So once you added that one, just go down, scroll down and you can just say rotate with shape. Just untick that one. So you can see here. And then again, if you want to adjust the width, height or all those things, you can just play with the these offset properties. And again, if you want to give more uh, some vibrant color to this one, you can go to format you can just change the color you can see here i can just give some different color options also here so let me just give this one you can see it more vibrant and this also i'm just going to increase it so depending on your requirement you can just add as per your need now once you have added this one it's time to add some more boxes here for with a different color for that let me just go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle covering this much part only and shape outline make it no outline and you can give some different color of your choice for example let me just give this color and then i'm just going to send this to back you can see here and then I'm going to add other boxes here also. I'm going to change this box color to white, select the particular rectangle, go to format and shape fill. You can just select a white color here. And this color also, I want to just change a little bit to light blue. And then I'm going to add one more rectangle. I'm going to give a different color here. For that, go to insert shape, select a rectangle, draw the rectangle covering the the background you can see here again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill again i'm going to give the same color light and then send this to back you can see here it has gone more let me just press ctrl z yes and then once this is done again you have to make sure that this is properly aligned And then I'm going to add one more and change going to change the color go to again insert shapes select the rectangle again I don't want this background what happens if I put only this one that means this will be visible so I have to make it till the top again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to select a dark color here and again send back so you can see here and one more i'm going to put it here and if you want this one you can make it more darker also you can just go to colors more colors and you can increase the darkness here all right and then let me just add one more box here go to insert shapes rectangle again draw the rectangle shape outline no outline and this also i'm going to give the dark color then send this to back 
and for this box i'm just going to select the whole white color go to format shape fill and select white so you can see here our design is ready now it's time to add the text to add the text go to insert text box and you can just type the text here i can just put like cover and i'm going to change the font to oswald or whichever font which you feel better i'm going to change the size to 40 right align and i'm going to give a dark color here put it here and make sure that your text should not go beyond these margins otherwise that will get cut in the printing press ctrl d to duplicate this and change the color to light color and you can just give the maybe the headline you can see here and then below you can add some detailed text go to insert text box if you want you can give some subtitles also equals lorem within bracket one by default it gives the latin text let me just change the font to any font of your choice or i'm using open sans reduce the size and i will just say justify and change the color to a dark blue color here you can see here and then here in this place you can add the logo of the company so i'm going to select the oval shape hold the shift key to get the perfect circle and you can just add the company logo so you can see here uh, the text here we have added again if you want you can just add one more text here let me just select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring this here and again if you want a white font let me just change the color to white and you can just put any title of your choice here so now let's add the text in the center column so i'm going to add the one more subtitle here you can just add your subtitle again font color you can just give this light color or if you want you can just give a blue also or oh, sorry white also open sans if you want open sans or oswald it's up to you whichever you feel you can just add it here let me just reduce the size a little bit and again i'm just going to copy this text press ctrl d and i'm just going to move the text here change the color to white and you can see here our text is ready so let me just reduce the size a little bit and then at the top you can just add some code for that go to insert text box i'm going to add to insert again go to symbols select the symbol here and from the windings you can just select this one you can see here this insert and this also insert and close let me just increase the size of this to so I'll just say maybe 40 and change the color to white or I can give more also maybe 60 is better and I'm just going to put one here press ctrl D to duplicate bring one more here and whatever not required I'm just going to delete this one and from here I'm just going to delete this one here let me just bring it here and then you can just add any some quote or the company tagline or whatever you can feel better tagline or quote or whatever and then here the bottom part if you want you can just add the company details or address telephone mobile number or some icons for that go to insert shapes let me just add some oval shape here hold the shift key so that you get a perfect shape shape outline make it no outline and you can choose the color maybe i'll just select white press ctrl d 
and press ctrl d so i got three and then you can add the icons go to insert icons if you're using office 365 by default icons are available here if you are using some older versions then you need to download uh, from the internet or i have provided uh, in if you go to my channel you can see i have provided a uh, full more than 500 icons in that so you can just download that for free let me just make this as 0.4 and then i'm just going to add it here you can see here i have added this one and if you want i can just select each press ctrl g to group it select this one hold the shift key press ctrl g you can see here and if you want you can give some shadow effect also here go to shadow select the shadow and increase the size so this shadow effect has been added and then you can add a main title there press ctrl d and i'm just bring it here change the font to dark and main title and then you can add more detailed text here for example let me just select this press ctrl d you can see here and i'm going to make it a solid fill and i'm going to change the color to light color and hold the shift key reduce the size you can see here this is my first option i'm just going to add the title here insert title zero one and again this one i will just say oswald and change the color to light color and you can add detailed text also let me just press ctrl g ctrl d to duplicate sorry and let me just select this and you can add the title to here so you can see here our design is almost ready make sure that all uh, the text are aligned properly you can see this is not aligned let me just select these three and go to format align i will just say write you can see here and then if you want you can add more detailed text also and add the logo here so you can see here almost our design is ready and if you want to give some shadow effect here for example go to insert shape select a rectangle draw the rectangle this end maybe this much size only shape outline make it no outline and just bring this here and i'm going to select the gradient fill and by default i have used these two one is black one you can see here and i've made the transparency to 62 percent and the other one i have made it white or you can just select any color also or you can just select and then make it fully transparent so let me just make it a uh, black only here so that i can make it more transparent so you can see here this has been added here press ctrl d and bring the other side so you can see here i have just added the the shadow effect here and if you want to give more options like for example let me just select this press ctrl d and i'm going to fill this with a white color make it more transparent you can see here reduce the size you can just add something like this here you can see here likewise you can add as many as you want here but make sure that it, do it doesn't look awkward it should look more uh, elegant so our design is ready and if you want you can just go to a simple file save as and i can or i can just say simply export and create pdf just click on create pdf it will convert to the a pdf file that's it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.